Clay Fisher, a 226 hitter. Nice pitch there for the strikeout. Good contact hitter at the plate. Found off a couple here. That's a nice shot past the first baseman into right field, and Carson's got himself an RBI single, and the Wildcats have taken a 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the third inning. He hit here as well as Jelly's pitching, and you can maybe open the floodgates here against a really good pitcher. And that's going to get by the catcher, and coming home, scampering in to score. And the Cats now take a 2-0 lead. Got him there, though. Big pitch, and you can see the emotion right there in the big right-hander. Oh, good pitch there as he wastes him down and away. Clay Fisher swings and misses in the seventh strikeout of the game. And I learned to just try to get into a good rhythm and get your feet in better position. And that's what you just saw right there. Outstanding. How about that changeup? And it ended up with a gold glove. Now it's up to Cleary. Runners moving. Strike them out, throw them out. Yes, they do. About that. Big, big double play by the Cats. The strikeout from Cleary and the strike them out, throw them out, and the Cats get out of the eighth with the leads. That's when we knew that that guy was probably going to be <laughs> pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, interesting that uh, you, we mentioned Las Vegas there and uh, the Cubs. Oh. How about that pitch by Cleary? Wow. Pulled the string there, didn't he? I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't come again with it. How wow. about that? Boy, this was a great win for Kentucky. And this is a team that's been really smacking the baseball. They did it tonight, Doug, with pitching. They sure did. Sean Jelly looked tremendous.